All right, joining us now is first time on Hannity. He is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and the hit show Shark Tank. One of the co I love that show. It's a great show. Mark Cuban, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, Sean. Thanks for having me on. All right. I have a plan to reopen the NBA, and I want to throw it by you. And I've been talking a lot to right. other owners of other sports franchises, Robert Kraft, Randy Levine, all those guys. Okay. Yep. So the way you – maybe you can play basketball outside. Every single mm -hmm. person that works in the, whatever the stadium, what, wherever the game is being held, they have to have the COVID test that day, one of the Abbott tests, which are now more available than ever before. Um, you take that you have a temperature. I'll show you this thing on the screen. It's called a, a temperature turnstile. You walk through it. You take the temperature. You have a high temperature. You're not allowed admission. Then we have this really cool mask that people will get if they go watch the Dallas Mavericks. And it's a Dallas Mavericks basketball mask to keep people safe. If you want to go to the game, you got to wear the mask just like the medical manufacturers did and the guys that stocked the shelves in New York. And you can drink beer through a straw, maybe eat a hot dog if you put your mask on quick. Thoughts? Would that work? You know, we've played games outside before, so you're in the right direction there. It's obviously a lot safer to do it outside. I'm not as big a fan as the temperature check because if you just eat three quick um, extra strength Tylenol, you can beat those tests. But we, we're getting to that point, Sean, where we're going to be able to do some testing and hopefully be able to play games. I don't think we're ready for fans yet, but let us take that first step. I think we can get that right, done. What if you, what if you did every other seat? If you get a big stadium, right? Let's say the equivalent of Yankee Stadium, whatever. You, you know, maybe no, Cal we don't even have to do every other seat. When we get to where we can have fans, we can quarantine group people together, right? So if you're the family, if the Hannity family comes together, we don't need to put seats between all of them. If the Cuban family, Hannity family have quarantined together, we can quarantine group people together. But we have to take our first steps first to make sure all the plans that we have are effectively safe. Yeah, listen, I want that. Sports are a big part of the American culture psyche. I'm willing to wear a mask to go. I will wear it. I'll go through anything else. I'll drink my beer through a straw. All right. Now, you said about Donald Trump, I want to ask you about this, is you said sure. you're supporting Biden, and you said um, you would prefer him. Okay. He's, you know, I don't have a problem if we have different politics. Let's start with coronavirus alone. You tell me okay. all, all the things Bunker Joe did on coronavirus that you admire, and then I'll tell you what I think Trump did that I admire. Let's start that way. Well, well, Joe's not in charge of anything right now, right? He's a candidate, you know, so we can't really put him in that category. But, Sean, I'll listen, okay? What do you think? I mean, what have we got to lose to listen to what you said that Donald did right? Yeah, but the point is, okay, the, he would he called the travel ban. Now, Donald Trump, will you give him credit? Ten days after the first known case of corona in America? 100%. 100% travel 100% ban. credit. Absolutely. Yep. Quarantines first in 50 years. For subsequent travel bans. Good ideas? Yep. Okay. We all know the models and the medical professionals were wrong. And, and I'm not blaming them. China lied to the well, world. That's that's a, models okay. are just predictive, right? But you know, they're, not, they're not supposed to be 100% accurate. They're supposed to be guidelines. Okay, so Trump built all the hospitals in New York. He built, sent his Navy hospital ship. He sent every right. ventilator, every shield, every mask, gloves, gowns, everything, because New York was prepared for nothing. Um, right. And he got the, he even converted those hospitals to COVID-19 capability. Now, you went on saying that Donald Trump hasn't done a good job with this. I would argue he did a phenomenal job and saved New York's ass. So here's the problem. So I was involved in some of those conversations. And so what happened was when PPE got into short supply, what I suggested that they do was match up the demand along with the supply. But they wouldn't do that, right? So no one would take inventory of where all the PPP was around the country. And because they wouldn't present that market information, hospitals started um, hoarding and we didn't know where the manufacturing sources were coming from, so we got into even more and greater short supply of PPE. The White House had the opportunity to fix that. They knew they could have fixed it, but they didn't take the actual steps because no one was truly in charge. The, President Trump really had the, he had the right idea in putting the people in charge, but he had one group doing one thing, another group doing Hang another thing. I can they tell you that's not true. New York, no, Governor, New, New York Governor Cuomo, hang on. In November of 2015, 
His own task force said in peak week you'll be shy 15,783 ventilators. New York Mayor Comrade de Blasio said they needed 10,000. They had nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, you, now, Jared not Kushner just, oh. managed every ventilator. They sent every bit of medical equipment. They manned the Javits Center, 3,000 beds. They manned the, the, the hospital ship they built. They converted them and changed the ventilation systems. New York was dead without Donald Trump. That's just a fact. Two different things. So you're exactly right on Jared and what he did. The problem was Jared wasn't the only one working on it. There were multiple groups working on the same thing, and that created confusion. Are you right about New York? Yes. Did they handle it correctly? No. But could have been handled a lot better? Absolutely, Sean. And on top of that, when we started dealing with ventilators, and this is both the White House and the state of New York, when we started getting all these ventilator deaths, nobody did a thing. There were people, there were reports saying that 88% of people on ventilators were dying. No, they were mostly 88%. elderly, but they were still dying. Yeah, they were yeah. dying, but no one at the state level or the federal level from the White House came out and said, stop using so many ventilators. Both parties made mistakes, and well, it cost the, people their the lives. But you can't ask the White House to make medical decisions for hospitals and doctors. All right, let me ask you this, because you said you're supporting Biden, which I don't understand. You're too smart. I've watched you on Shark Tank. <laughs> you're too good and too smart. You're too good a businessman. This doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Let me show you a montage of your candidate, and then you tell me out of this montage that you're going to vote for this guy, and explain why. I like to, I'm trying to understand your thinking, because I, I think a lot of you, I think you're a good owner for the NBA, you're an outspoken entrepreneur, you're a capitalist. Here's Joe Biden, your, your, your choice for president. Introduce me. Am I on? Yes, sir. Good evening, Tampa. Thanks so much for tuning in. Look. Tomorrow is Superstar Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330. One of the things I like about Mark Cuban on Shark Tank is you call it as it is. Now, let me ask you. And you know what? Joe, Let me Joe ask Biden you. Is the king of, Joe Biden is the king of malaprops, but Donald, our president, has malaprops. His share of, no. Yeah. No. Do you think that well, guy? You don't. You don't think this guy's had? If he had a fastball, curveball, slow pitch, that they're all gone? Come on, that doesn't no, scare I, you. You know what? Both sides scare me. I'm not. I'm not going to lie, Sean. Joe Biden scares me in some areas, and President Trump scares me in more areas right now. And I'll tell you why, because I think that Donald doesn't put the best people in place any longer. He did at the beginning, and I was proud of him at the beginning, but now he want, just wants people who are loyal to him. And that's a problem, and it's created more problems in this pandemic. Well, if you had as many knives in your neck and shivs in your neck like he's got, you'd probably want to fire those people too. But I'll Joe, say this, not. prior to COVID, Record low unemployment for every yep. demographic in the country, something Biden and Obama never pulled off. Last word. You know, there's no question he deserves a lot of credit for what happened with the economy. He's done really well there. But those days are behind us now. But he can't be playing the victim all the You know, Sean, this is what really bothers me about the president. He's the most powerful man in the world. And he always plays the victim card. The Dems are out to get me. The media is out to get me. You've got to be the leader. You've got to be the strongest man in the game. And he just hasn't shown that hey, strength. Hey, Mark, That's what Mark, they spied on the guy. They spied on a candidate, his transition team. They spied on his presidency. Those are Bill Barr's words, not Sean Hannity's. Who cares? He's the most powerful man in the world. Be powerful. Be a they leader. Set to an take example. Him out. And he fought But, Sean, when you're a puncher, you're supposed to be the world's best counterpuncher. He hasn't been able to knock anybody out. He just plays the victim. Look, I love the That's... way you stand up, all these people that call him out. That's a great thing, Sean. But the man has got to be a leader, and he hasn't shown that yet. You know one thing he's never going to do? He's Donald Trump. He's, he got elected as Donald Trump. He saved the country as Donald Trump, and he'll bring the country back as Donald Trump. But uh, well, great to have you on. I want to sit next to you during during the first game when your your team opens up. I'll sit next to you, and uh, I'll, I won't bring any New York COVID with me. I promise. 
I'll tell you what, I want to watch you eat that hot dog through the mask. That's even better. <laughs> this is what you do. You take the mask, you shove it under, you take a bite, and, and you just got to <laughs> chew it. You know, but God forbid if you get the hot dog, you know what, that would be ugly. Uh, but I'll drink my beer through the straw. All right, Mark Cuban. Amen.